Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking. Welcome back to my playthrough of Black Bay Asylum. Now, last time we got a little a little lost, a little uh we could we couldn't figure out what to do. So and he's scratching his ass. Okay. So I uh run around a little bit and was able to figure it out. So what what it is, as you see we there's this message about the uh, grumpy grumpy maintenance guy saying everybody should write down the code. And he mumbled the word fuck. Okay. So, what we do is we come over here, come to where the server room was. Now, I can't click on it now because I've already opened it. When you click on it, you notice that the numbers have letters on them, kind of like the, the, the numbers on a phone. So, uh, almost as a joke, I just kind of typed in the numbers that made up fuck, and the door opened. So, now you're all caught up. So, let's see what we got going on here. It's a bunch of servers. I'm sure... These things serve a purpose, I'm just not sure what they are. Okay. Guessing you'll say the same thing over here. Okay, use more than two phone lines requires backup power supply. Okay. I'm not sure what we can gotta do here. Uh Okay. That goes there, comes out it's right there. Oh, okay. I just noticed this thing keeps going up, so we gotta... Okay, so either one of those. Huh. Looks like we only got to do one more thing here, but what? There we go. So now I'm guessing the lady will be off the phone. Welcome to Black Bay Asylum. My mm, name yeah, is thank you very you much. Uh, let's see. You're not worried. I kind of want to ask this question first. You're not worried about all the monsters? Monsters, huh? Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfortable in one of our cells in our mental ward? No, really. There's a big, nasty monster from the psych ward. The psych ward is supposed to be locked down after hours. How did you get up here? Oh, well, I just remembered I left my uh, office on fire. Very well, then. How can I help you, sir? Could you open the doors for me? Sorry, mister. Only authorized personnel are allowed to leave. Uh, I'm a doctor. Oh, well, then. Let's see your ID and I'll bust you out. Sure. I'll show up my fake ID. Excellent, Dr. Luther. I'll just bust you out. Have a good night. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you. Uh-oh. Whoa. I got eated. Uh, eh, I don't feel so good. Well, gee, I wonder why. The stomach has it. It's burning. I have to do something. Oh, laxative. I'm getting pulled. The bowel lord cometh. The basement. After being eaten and passed, Doug finds himself in the basement, a place where horrible experiments are being performed with the words moral and ethics are unknown. Alright, let's continue on, shall we? Isn't that just lovely? I just got shot from a butthole. Right click to shift between free look and inventory. Blackberry Asylum. Because we care. Oh, I can walk around. At Black Bay Asylum because we care. Hmm, sure. Asylum because we care. I don't remember the caring part. For some reason, we're in first person mode this time. These folders look extremely important. Too bad I'm just going to ignore them. <coughs> I picked up an elemental disc. It says, I cannot touch for fear of pain. It's an old boiler, so what? I hate boilers. Now that is a huge pile of crap. Yeah, I know, we came out of that huge pile of crap. Okay, this, uh... Hi... Hello. Let's do first person perspective. It's a little unnerving. It's a drawing of a man stretching his hands and feet. A drawing of a head that's having an idea. Whoa. Creepy. He's missing his hands, feet, heart, eyes, and brain. The words the five shall free you is written above the door. Okay, so that happened. Looks like a heart in the center of a blurry ring. Drawing of a couple eyes. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do here. We gotta find this man some body parts. I need more of them. Okay. Well, the lobby was a bust. On the other hand, I finally achieved my lifelong dream of being eaten and passed by a giant monster. However, I'm not sure where I am. From the smell and surrounding, I'm guessing the basement. I found a disc depicting fire with the words, I cannot touch for fear of pain. Okay. Let's explore, shall we? Uh, let's go. Oh, hi. Oh! Okay. Oh! He lunged at us. Looks like there was a fire. Everything is burned to a crisp. Okay, I guess there's nothing we need in here. I'm sure I'm 
sure I'll probably miss something in there. Is anything creepy going to happen in this window? Cold metal stretcher. It looks softer than my bed. Okay. It probably filled with useless lab equipment. Picked up blood bags. Okay. Boxes of containers filled with medical supplies. I don't have a prescription pad though. Okay. Hell. Okay, we can't go in there apparently. Bunch of junk, nothing of interest. An old toolbox is rusted shut. Do I have anything that can open it? No, I don't. Okay, we gotta find something to open that box. The throbbing within, the silent life. New code. Beat this one, Chris. Got it, obviously, by the way, the five is reversed from the others. Okay. It's a really big dead rat. August 22nd, the subject showed no intentions of responding differently to my experiments. A week has passed since we established a solid diagnosis of, on each of them. This project is getting stale, but my orders are to keep testing. I overheard a peculiar conversation when attending the bathrooms earlier. Maybe it was nothing. Maybe the boredom is playing keep away with my common sense. Life in the lab is tedious. August 23rd. I performed the same experiments today without any difference in the results. I'm starting to think that I'm the puppet placed in reality as a part of some big elaborate scheme. Somehow I get the feeling that I'm the subject of an experiment. I saw Dr. Hansen today. He's usually never on this level. I didn't think much of it, but something is happening. Why am I doing these tests every day on the same subjects? They've all been dead for more than a week now. The other scientists invited me to the pub tonight. I think I might go. The paranoia is getting to me. I need to clear my head. August 24th, I woke up with a throbbing headache today. A result of yesterday's venture to the pub, I suppose. I drank too rarely to ever be prepared for this kind of hangover. I couldn't even be arsed to perform the test today. All I did was put the same data into the file and send it. During lunch hours, I fell asleep at my desk. I only woke up once because of some scraping inside the walls and a chirpy sound. I fell asleep almost instantly. This hangover does something weird with my mind. I need to get home soon to get some real sleep. August 25th. My hands are shaking as I write this. The sounds from yesterday return today. I've been hearing them to and from all day. When I walk out of my lab, all is quiet. I went to the room next door and couldn't hear a thing, yet on my, si on my side of the wall, something is trying trying to get out. Maybe there was more to the conversation I overheard a couple days ago. August 26th. When I came to the lab today, there was a big hole in the wall, and I was instantly attacked by what looked like a giant rat. Deformed with a peculiar intelligence gleaming in his pale black gaze, I managed to kill it without hurt, without it hurting me. My letter opener thrust into its stomach. I've screwed, I've secured it firmly on a stretcher, and also set out traps in case more are coming. For some reason, I feel safe outside my lab. The evil seems to be localized inside those walls. August 27th, more have come. My traps were filled with these these monsters. I went down to the animal testing labs and got some cages to store these creatures in. What are they? August 28th. Same thing this morning. Had to cage even more monsters. I need to kill them all soon, but I don't know where to dispose of them. Started running some tests on the specimen I first killed. Every time I enter the lab, I get excited. Excited to the point where I almost feel rejuvenated. Guess it's nothing more than my mind playing tricks on me. August 29th. I woke up sweating today. I've been having the worst kinds of nightmares for the last two days. What spooks me the most is that I held a kitchen knife in my right hand when I woke up. I'm fairly sure I didn't bring that to bed. The autopsy shows nothing. They seem to be nothing but overgrown, very violent rats. Yet they emit some sort of, I don't know, the loneliness has got my imagination wandering. 
August 30th. The nightmares are getting worse. I can hardly sleep anymore. It's as if a shimmer of the images from the night still lingers in my mind, and they gain new strength every time I enter the lab. I feel fear and anxiety creeping up on me. I need to get out. August 31st. These nightmares. They're everywhere. I see the horrors of the night with my waking eye. P.S. I'm fine now. The... What? I'm fine now. He takes care of me. Well. That's interesting. Okay, we've... They're all empty. Well, that's comforting. Okay, another thing. I guess it has something to do with that, but I don't I don't know what that is. Your elevator and you instruction manual. Okay. Let's do a little bit more exploring. I think we went in isolation yet. Okay, no we didn't. Cold moldy pizza. Oh, isolation experiment number 042. Day one. Subject seems shocked. Hasn't moved all day. Spent his time sitting on a chair in the corner. Day two. Subject got up today. Seems lost but curious to his surroundings. Went to the window and tapped it. We do not yet know if he has figured out what's on the other side. Day three, during the night when the subject was asleep, we put two plates of food in his cell. The one to the right was filled with hallucinogenic drugs, while the one to the left was just ordinary plate of food. We proceeded to eat the one on the left. Day four, while he was asleep, we put three objects in the room for him to interact with, a ball, a rope, and a wooden box. We started playing with the rope almost immediately. Day five, when we entered the lab this morning, we found the subject had hanged himself from the ceiling light using the rope. End of report. Yeah, that was brilliant. Just a bunch of random crap. Okay. Mmm, comfy. Okay, I just sat down. Picked up a cube. Apparently I picked it all up. Oh, I was only able to pick up one of them. Crap, I hope I didn't just screw up. Okay, they're all back. Remember the Hippocratic Oath. You're not a hypocrite, are you, Dr. Hansen? Uh, I'm guessing I should probably get the rope. Okay, it all disappears. Whenever I... This time I got the ball. That's the one we first came in. Okay, I guess we're going to try to figure out this code. thing trying to figure it out. By the way, the five is reversed from the others. Okay. 
A little stumped. Alright, I'm going to try to figure this out. I'm, under, I'm out of time for this episode anyway, so... I'll try to figure it out. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, hit all the buttons for me. Like, subscribe, leave a comment or two. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Black Bay Asylum. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.